Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this past week. The COVID-19 pandemic continued to impact everyday life around the world this week. But at least for British Columbians, restrictions could start being lifted soon. As of Saturday, 280,000 people have died from the virus across the globe, with more than 4 million confirmed cases. Here in BC, there have been 2,330 positive COVID-19 tests, 180 of which have been in the interior health region. Hospitalizations in BC due to the virus continued to fall through the week, hitting 69 on Saturday. Additionally, 1,659 people in the province have fully recovered. As a result of the flattening of the curve here in BC, Premier John Horgan announced on Wednesday a plan to begin reopening some of BC's economy with restaurants, pubs, parks, barbers and salons, and a number of other businesses allowed to reopen after the Victoria Day long weekend. Thanks to the leadership and wisdom of Dr. Henry and Minister Dix, we put in place in British Columbia a plan that has slowed the growth of the, the, the virus and put us in a place for a safe restart of our economy. It won't be the flipping of a switch. We're going to be proceeding carefully, bit by bit, one step at a time. Downtown Kelowna residents near Mill Creek woke early Thursday morning to find the creek had burst its banks. No doubt bringing back flashbacks of the same type of flooding almost three years prior to the day. Several apartment buildings were flooded on Sutherland Avenue near Pandozi Street, along with a number of homes as well. My mindset was, well, here we go, 2017 again. Um, we knew we had, uh, we've got two units in the lower floor. Those are the ones that were in jeopardy, so I came, came running down to see what I could do about that. And luckily my next door neighbor, young fella, came down to help out. So we basically did what we could to get them uh, bailed out, if you like, and get most of their stuff out of their, out of their units. Stats Canada released new figures this week showing the serious toll the COVID-19 pandemic has had on jobs across the country and right here in Kelowna. Compared to the same time last year, there are 10,000 fewer employed people in Kelowna, where the unemployment rate now sits at 8.1%. The region saw 5,300 jobs disappear in April. Province-wide, the unemployment rate now sits at 11.5%, up from 72 just one month ago. This is an incredible jump from before the pandemic, when our unemployment number in British Columbia was just 5%, leading the country when it came to employment. And the numbers today, in fact, aren't the full picture, because many of those who lost employment are counted as not in the labour force, rather than unemployed, because they wanted work, but they didn't look for work because of the lack of opportunities right now because of COVID-19. And a swarm of honeybees showed up in a Kelowna woman's hazelnut tree this week. I heard this buzzing. Uh, I was in the backyard and I couldn't figure out where the bee was. Oh, I thought it was just one, but it's like way too loud for that. And I came out to the yard and this is in my hazelnut tree. Wednesday morning, a local beekeeper arrived to help move the swarm along. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.